Hey everyone, I just got my brand new Goal Zero Boulder 100 briefcase solar panels. So I thought I'd do a quick review today and unboxing. So first of all, it doesn't come with a manual. So everything you need to know is on the box here, apparently. And the key specs here are that it's a 100 watt monocrystalline panel of really high quality. And it weighs 26 pounds, which is pretty beefy. So I ordered my panels on Cyber Monday from Amazon and uh, they were $240 off of a regular price of $300. And they showed up in pretty good shape. You can see the box has a few scuffs, a few little tears. Uh, the other one I got had even more. So let's uh, crack this open and see what it's like inside. There's a lot of tape on these seams. All right, now we're ready to open her up. So first of all, it's packaged pretty darn well. There's uh, a big piece of foam that slots around the panel on all sides. And you can see there are these um, corrugated corner protectors as well. So that's the foam. And then there are these corrugated corners here that seem like they do a good job protecting the panel. And that's important because the panels are glass, so they're pretty fragile. So pulling this out, you realize, first of all, this thing is pretty heavy. Uh, 26 pounds is no joke, but you know, it's pretty comfortable. You can carry it one-handed, no problem. And we'll just take the plastic off here. So I've got my hand here on the handle that actually belongs to the solar panel, not the case. The case just has a hole there. It has two zippers, one on each side. And the thing you'll notice is they don't zip very far. They just zip really around the corner and down. It's just enough to pull the solar panel out. I think it would have been better if they had zipped at least halfway down, if not all the way. So taking a look up on top, you'll again see the handle that's attached to the solar panel. The sides are aluminum and they're painted black and they have these really beefy corners that are plastic with aluminum in green. We'll just take the bag off here, get the panel out. And you can see it's an all black panel. It looks really sharp. I like the black edges and the black fill in between all the panels. It's really seamless looking. And again, detail here about the side. You can see the edging. That really does do a good job of protecting the panel. So zooming around to the top here, we can look at the latches on the unit. And they're pretty good quality. Nothing super beefy, but they seem like they'll do the job. Uh, you just simply lift it up, pull a little clasp off, and there's one on each side. One thing I did notice though, when trying to open up the panel, is that sometimes the clasp would get caught. So I'd undo one side, start working the next side, and then the first one would actually have reattached itself. So not a big deal, but worth knowing. And so opening it's pretty easy once you get the two latches off, you just basically spin it open. Uh, it's important to make sure you have the right side up because if you don't, then these little fold out legs won't work. Uh, these kickstands are really, really helpful for getting the panels directed in the right way for the sun. I have a smaller pair of Boulder 15 panels that don't have this and it's really frustrating because you actually have to go ahead and prop it up with a a bunch of books or figure something to prop it up. But here you can see it lays down really nicely. And taking a look at the panels themselves, you can see they're really high quality. I'm guessing these are sun power panels, which are the highest quality and the most efficient panels out there. That's what they look like. Um, there aren't any of those silver lines on top of the panels. It's an all black appearance. Uh, the glass itself has a little bit of a texture to it, like an anti-glare, a little bit of texture when you rub your hand on it. Um, it seems like really high quality glass. The panels seem like they're really high quality. Um, I have no doubt that this will last for 20 or 30 years if you take care of it. Uh, it's a very high quality panel from what I can tell. Now looking underneath, you can see there's one power cable that comes out. It's a standard Goal Zero 8 millimeter power cable. The only issue, it's only six feet long. So if you're going to try to keep your unit out of the sun or inside 
on a colder, rainy, or wet day, um, you're going to have trouble. So you need an extension cord. You can see the two panels here are attached together permanently. Now, one thing to note about the kickstands is they are only available in one angle. So you can adjust them. Uh, I think they're 45 degrees, which is pretty good. Uh, it's probably what you need most of the time, but it would be nice if they were adjustable. Now, putting this away is pretty easy. You just stand it up straight, put the legs in. You have to figure out what to do with the cable, which is a little bit messy, but you can sort of gather it up, uh, hold it in there, and then swing the other side closed. So that's all pretty smooth. The hinges seem to work well. There's not a lot of wobbling or anything. And then on the side here, what you do is you just close one latch and then the other, and you are ready to go. Just grab it by the handle. It would be very easy to carry two of these panels, one in each hand. Now, this is the bag it comes in, and this requires a little bit of discussion because the bag you can see is very, very thin. It's really just thin material. There's no padding. Uh, and like I said earlier, it doesn't unzip all the way. So I thought I would show you what it really looks like to put this thing back in the bag. Now, this is the first time I've done it. So I will get better at it. And I'm guessing this, the better way to do this is to put the panel down and put the bag over it. But I just wanted to show you how tricky it is to do with one person because the bag is really uh, saggy. And so trying to keep that thing straight while you're maneuvering this 26 pound panel in the air is a little tricky. Oh, uh, you can see I did it. Uh, it's not the end of the world. I just wish it, that was a little bit smoother as far as ease of use. Overall, I really like the folding design of this panel. It's super easy to set up. Everything seems really solid. So I'm so far very happy with the boulder. As I mentioned earlier, the six fork cords are super short. So I got a 15 foot, eight millimeter extension cable from goal zero so that I can run the panels outside and run them to the generator inside. So this is my setup. I've got a pair of these 100 watt boulder foldables. And right inside the door there is my Yeti Lithium 1000. Now today was a super cloudy day, so I'm not gonna do performance testing. Um, but you can see they're both plugged into the MPPT controller. And with completely cloudy skies, I'm getting about eight watts a panel, which is not too much at all, but that's to be expected. So overall, I am very impressed with the quality of this panel. Um, earlier in the day when there was sun, I was getting close to 80 watts, which is great. So I think my only nits would be, it would be nice if the carrying case was padded and a little bit stronger. Um, if it came with a longer cord, I think it would be reasonable to have a 10 foot cord. And it would be nice if the kickstand was adjustable. I also think Goal Zero gets knocked quite a bit for price, but Really, when you compare this to the Renogy panels and other ones, I think these are a really good value considering that you're getting tempered glass, you're getting a high quality panel with a lot of reinforcement. So I definitely would recommend giving these a serious look. Thanks for watching.